Good morning, folks. So I am on my way over to a Ram dealership, uh, one that I have a really good relationship with, and I will be test driving hopefully two trucks. Um, I'm going to do two separate reviews on it, uh, but um, they're either going to have a Laramie Longhorn uh, single rear wheel truck, either 25 or 3500, or they're going to have a dually tradesman edition, which I'm actually really anxious to drive that truck as well. So hopefully I can get my hands on both of them and um, give you a review, and uh, I'll see you here shortly. Hey everybody, so I'm in a 2017 Ram 3500 Tradesman Edition Crew Cab 4x4 Long Box Dually. And I'm going to tell you, uh, the truck's actually really nice, especially for a truck that has an MSRP of $54,000. $685. And when I get back, they're going to tell me what the actual uh, sales price of this truck is. But what I can tell you from a bang per buck perspective, this is a really nice truck. It definitely has um, a lot of the features that you would expect on a truck that's slightly more expensive. It's got power windows, power door locks. Um, it is a four wheel drive truck with the uh, shift on the floor. Um, it, it's got a backup camera. Um, it's just, it's a really well appointed truck for somebody who doesn't want to spend seventy five dollars or $80,000 on a truck. And at the end of the day, I'm sure it's significantly less than the $54,600 uh, sticker price that's on it. When I get back, I'll find out what that price is. But let me tell you from a driving dynamic perspective, the truck feels um, very well put together. It doesn't feel as if there's panels that are creaking. What it does feel like any other dually that doesn't have weight in the back, it definitely feels as if it um, is more of a jarring ride when you go over rough roads. And that's pretty much universal amongst any dualies, mainly because they're designed to haul payload. And when they're empty, you have all that unsprung tension in the springs that transfer directly to the frame and the chassis of the truck. And I'll explain a little bit more of that during the, uh, the drive here. Now, this is the... 800 pound foot of torque version because it uses the 68 RFE transmission in it, um, which means it's got 370 horsepower, I believe. That Cummins engine definitely has a distinctive large diesel engine sound to it. It, um, it sounds, you know, dare I say more masculine than a, uh, than a Ford or a GM truck, while at the same time, um, it is a little louder, so you get a little bit more of that engine noise inside of the truck. And I'm going to try something here. I actually have a, my condenser mic now plugged into it because I want to pick up what the actual engine sounds like from the interior and see if this microphone does a better job of it. I'm holding it essentially at my head height so you kind of get the perspective of what it would sound like to your ears. And I'm going to rev the truck up a little bit just so you can kind of hear how the sound might transfer inside of the cab. So it's definitely not a loud interior, but what I will tell you is that it is a little bit louder than the interior of the Ford. And just for the purposes of comparing to my F450, um, I have the micro microphone in the same placement right up where my head is, just so you can hear what the interior of the F450 sounds like when being revved. So I don't know if it picked it up or not, but we'll find out. You know, that's not a bad thing for some folks because a lot of folks that drive big diesel trucks like the sound of it. And I know a lot of people tow long distances, so it would really come down to your personal preference on if you like how it sounds, you know, when you're on the road for a long period of time. But it doesn't sound bad. It's definitely a, uh, it's a good sounding diesel engine. But again, it is, it is a bit louder. What I can tell you from my first impression is it does not feel as if it lacks in power. So the diesel that I drove last time, which was a dually, was a 2015 model. And it did have the ice in the transmission. It was a Laramie Longhorn package. Um, and it felt like it had some throttle lag if it didn't really want to get up and go when you hit the gas. This truck doesn't feel like that. This truck actually feels uh, as if you give it gas and it wants to go which is actually, it feels a little better than the throttle response I had in the GMC that I drove. From a fit and finish perspective, the truck has a very solid feel to it. It still feels very planted on the road. It doesn't feel as if um, it's sloppy at all, if that makes any sense. 
Now I'm back in the parking lot of the dealership and the reason why I'm parked here is because I'm going to drive over some of their, their uneven road surfaces. I really want to get a feel for how the truck handles bumps and imperfections in the road. I actually tried filming it earlier, which I'll probably show some of those clips, but the camera mount was a little bit loose, so it was shaking more than it should have been. So as I drive through the parking lot, again, this road isn't exactly the smoothest road as you guys can probably see. And here's a pretty rough spot with some deep ruts. It handles bumps not too bad, really. I mean, it feels like an unloaded dually truck. You know, that's just what you're going to get with a truck that's designed to haul payload. I want to point out these towing mirrors. Again, I'm still not a big fan of the Ram towing mirrors uh, compared to either Ford or GM, um, just because I think the upright placement is a better position for them. It's because the spot mirror on the side, I don't think works ideally when the mirror's folded down. And let me give you an example of that by folding it up. So I'm going to fold this mirror up now. And when it's in this position, it seems far more functional. I can definitely see more area beside the rear fenders as well as the side of the truck. This truck does have power mirrors, so let me fold it in here. So the visibility is really good. So I can understand why Ram owners would want to fold their mirrors out when they're driving because it does help. It gives them more visibility versus it being in the down position. Let me show you that again. So when it's down, as you notice, the area right here is much narrower. And also, you get a little bit more visibility here, but in order for me to really use the mirror well, I kind of have to readjust it. It's not a bad mirror setup, it's just not ideal. And I think for people who drive the truck for a while, they'll probably get used to it, and it probably would be a non-issue for them. But I just wanted to point that out since people talk about that. And I'm getting out onto a little bit rougher road so you can kind of see how it looks from the camera. Again, this is a dually. There's no weight in the back of it, so it's going to be a little bit more of a jarring ride than you'd get in a three-quarter ton truck or a half ton truck for sure. Half ton trucks pretty much drive like cars nowadays. And here's a nice big uneven surface to test it over. So it feels solid again. I mean, I know I mentioned that before, but the truck feels very solid. It feels well put together. I haven't heard a single creak or rack or anything. So now let's take a look at the interior of this truck. Again, this is a Tradesman Edition. So you won't get navigation, but you get a pretty nice uh, infotainment system here. And it is touchscreen, so you can change all your stations and whatnot when you put the truck in reverse. You do get a backup camera in this truck as well. It's viewable on the screen. Again, it does have four-wheel drive down here on the floor. This one has the full center console, so it's not a uh, center bench seat good amount of space in the back. Again, this particular model does not have a center console in the back or any type of drop-down armrest. The cup holders are down here on the floor. From the computer perspective, uh, you control it here on the steering wheel so you can actually go to your different features to look at different things from fuel economy, your trip features, if you have any messages such as oil changes, things like that, how you want to set it up. I do want to point out a few things on here as well, um, such as you have to kind of figure out what you're looking at because it says 373 right here for an axle ratio. But as you can tell, because it has the uh, six-speed automatic 68 RFE transmission in it, it actually has 342 axle ratio. It says 373 there again. And maybe that was just an upcharge of $50. So maybe it does have the 373 axle ratio. Again, it's kind of confusing to look at this. You're probably going to want to visit your dealership and ask them specifically what the truck comes equipped with. So now we're on the outside of this truck, I'm just doing a quick walk around so you can kind of see what this truck looks like from the outside, what you're going to get for uh, for the price. Again, this is a crew cab, dual rear wheel truck, as you can see, has a 17 inch uh, wheel package on it. This is a Tradesman Edition. Here's the front suspension of the truck. It 
If this were a uh, single rear wheel, this step would actually go further back so you could access the bed. And here's the rear leaf sprung suspension. Again, on your dually trucks, you're still going to get traditional leaf sprung suspension. On your half ton and three quarter ton trucks, you're going to get a coil rear suspension. And there's your box frame section. This has a really nice e coat on this particular one, it's very smooth all the way around. It feels pretty thick. I brought my caliper with me, so I'm going to be measuring the thickness of the frame from the front where I actually have access into it. Here's your leaf spring pack from the back, rear axle. Again, this particular truck comes with 370 horsepower and 800 pound-feet of torque. Here's the back of the truck. Underneath. And here's a shot of the uh, six point seven liter. Cummins engine. So I'm on my way back to the dealership now, and I'm gonna pick up actually a Laramie Longhorn uh, 2500 truck from them and do a, a test on that. That'll be another review that I do. Um, however, um, you know, this is a really nice truck. I'd say if you're looking for a truck in this, and you're looking for a dually specifically with a diesel that fits a budget, this would probably be it. I mean, this particular truck, I'm gonna find out what the actual price is on it, but um, I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty affordable. And I still maintain my, um, my assertion from the previous video that for a value perspective, you really can't beat the value you get with one of these Ram trucks, especially in the tradesman package, because this has probably 90% of all the features plus some that anybody would want in a dually or a pickup truck period and it's at a pretty affordable price. Thanks everyone. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you. I really wanna take a moment to thank Lithia Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Corpus Christi, Texas for allowing me to do these reviews. They've been very cooperative and they simply allow me to take the vehicle out and do the tests and reviews I'd like without any sales reps or anybody trying to you know, pressure me to say anything. So really appreciate that about working with these guys.